Uh, uh, I now have a drink with all of you. Uh, today, uh, what I'm going to tell you is that new chemotherapy regimen is changing the method of high last stenting. Uh, I would like to proceed in this order. Uh, first, uh, drainage method uh, for high low obstruction and new ASG guideline and paradigm shift uh, of high last stenting and our suggestion and um, my experiences. Uh, finally, I will show the plastic stent reform. Uh, today's my photos are about Alaska in summer. Please enjoy and have a good time. Uh, first, uh, let's briefly review the different drainage method. Uh, as you know, uh, this picture shows the, uh, shows the annual mortality rate for cholangiocarcinoma. The high mortality rate in East Asia may be due to the high proportion of hyalotype cholangiocarcinoma. Uh, MHO is still devastating disease with uh, five-year survival rate of less than 10%. Uh, approximately uh, maybe uh, more 70 percent of cases are either on acceptable state or on an algebra resection is not achievable at the time of surgery. Uh, so surgery for MHO typically involves partial hepatectomy or liver transplantation with or without PPPD. Uh, in particular, it is the most burdensome operation for surgeons. Uh, especially uh, because surgery cannot be considered in these advanced types. Uh, endoscopists have conducted a lot of studies on high last stenting. Uh, most of you and my friend Taewoon are still studying about the high last stenting, only high last stenting. Uh, anyway, uh, until now, uh, metal stent are preferable for unacceptable conditions. Uh, almost the studies show that uh, plastic stent have a high rate of malfunction and low patency rate and low cost effectiveness <clears throat> and high incidence of complications. Uh, if endoscopic drainage is not possible, rescue treatment using PTBD or hepatic gastrostomy is recommended. Uh, let's check the new ASG guidelines. Uh, this is the general recommendations. Uh, because of you already know general principles, I will pass this uh, slide. Uh, this is the first re important recommendation. Uh, Metal stand uh, are recommended in patients with, uh, with a short uh, life expectancy. Uh, plastic stand are uh, recommended uh, if an optimal drainage strategy has not been established. Otherwise, uh, either stent type may be used based on local expertise or and uh, physician preference. Second is about uh, drainage strategy. Uh, in patients with unacceptable MHO, bilateral stents are recommended than a single unilateral stent. Uh, last is about the drainage modality. Uh, for pre-op drainage, PTBD is not recommended for first-line therapy. Uh, next topic is that new adjuvant chemotherapy has changed the paradigm of high last stenting. Uh, in 2010, uh, the famous study reported the survival rate uh, after GEMSIS chemotherapy was extended 3.6 months. And recently, uh, in 2019, a surprising result of new chemotherapy was reported. The three drug regimens abbreviated as GEMSIA, uh, like as MESIA, uh, not only significantly extended the overall survival period to 19 uh, months, uh, and but also made uh, surgery possible for 20% of uh, unacceptable patients. Uh, this means that HBD operation could be changed to hepatectomy without PPPD. Uh, so 
in my opinion, we have to check the resection margin using single operator phalangioscopy for avoiding big uh, operation. Uh, recently, uh, our team reported the real world uh, result of GEMCR. Uh, the overall survival period was uh, more, than, uh, more than 15 months. And uh, especially the disease control rate uh, was almost 90%. Uh, because of this result, we should uh, reconsider the high last stenting method. Uh, this is a very important slide. Uh, what's the problem? We don't know who will respond to Jemsia. Uh, and we don't know who will get the surgery. Uh, if overall survival period exceeds more than 18 months, uh, metastent may not be the best drainage method. So, uh, for patients with ongoing chemotherapy, our team uh, is selecting the type of stent based on the following principles. Uh, for assessing chemotherapy response and uh, resolving the surgical resection margin, we prefer multiple plus stent rather than metal stent. Uh, if a patient suffer from frequent cholangitis uh, and chemotherapy schedule is not followed in time, we prefer uh, two six millimeter size of the full cover of metal stand. Uh, if a patient uh, suffer from frequent plastic stent migration, we prefer modified post big tail plastic stent. I showed this uh, uh, stent type right. Uh, eventually, if there is no response to chemotherapy, uh, we prefer multiple eight millimeter size of the uncovered metal stand side by side. Uh, this is the represented case of our principles. I failed uh, uh, inserting guide wire into the right duct, uh, even though using uh, swing tip and busy glide. So therefore, we, our interventionalist uh, inserted uh, straight plastic stent by a PTBD track uh, like this. Uh, let me show my typical cases about the high last stenting uh, during chemotherapy. Uh, first case that the resection area was changed because the chemotherapy response was dramatic. Uh, 68 years old female was diagnosed with type 3A hyla cholangi carcinoma. Pathologic cell type was a poorly deposited adenoma CA. And tumor invaded. Uh, uh, several major vessels. Uh, so previous uh, uh, referral hospital recommended uh, uh, HPD operation, but uh, we started the Jamsia chemotherapy due to the major vessel involvement. Uh, previous MRI uh, and EHP showed the tumor involved the right anterior branch and intrapancreatic portion. Uh, CAT scan showed the tumor encasement to uh, the right hepatic artery and obtaining the proper hepatic artery. Uh, she had taken people's schedule Jamsia, uh, but during the period, I changed the ERBD several times due to the frequent cholangitis. Uh, these portals revealed recurrent superactive cholangitis and stent clogging and stent migrations. But anyway, uh, powering case can show the improvement of uh, tumor encasement uh, around the right hepatic artery and improvement uh, of uh, intrapancreatic portion like this. Uh, for the exact examination of the distal margin, we performed the SOC examination. Uh, SOC revealed the severe fibrotic change at the intrapancreatic area without evidence of tumor involvement. Uh, these pictures are surgical finding due to the uh, free resection margin of proper hepatic artery and intrapancreatic duct. 
surgeon did the right hepatectomy without PPPD. This is a gross finding of a specimen. And you can, uh, microscopic examination showed the severe fibrosis without tumor involvement at the margin of a distal CBD. Uh, second case is about the recurrent cholangitis during chemotherapy. Uh, 61 year old male uh, was diagnosed as high lacolangio carcinoma with metastatic lymphadenopathy. Uh, he took a ERBD insertion at the previous hospital. However, he had suffered from persistent abdominal pain. You can see the proximal shape of post big type plus 10. Uh, do you think the proximal tip of plus 10 had induced the severe pain uh, or inadequate drainage? So I think uh, there, there was a problem. So I changed the two ERBDs and then persistent abdominal pain quickly disappeared. However, after three weeks, uh, I changed the three ERBDs due to the recurrent cholangitis. You can see the food fibers hanging on the distal part of the sand. After four weeks, I changed the ERBDs due to the same situation. Uh, after four weeks, I also replaced the ERBDs. Uh, however, due to the recurrent cholangitis, uh, I finally decided the uh, insertion of two fully covered six minute melastin. The stent patent period was uh, three months. Uh, the third case is about the hemophilia due to the tumor lysis after systemic chemotherapy. Uh, you can see another case uh, who was suffering from the pain induced the, the tip of a post big tail type plastic stent. I inserted the triple uh, straight type. After three months, uh, three ERBDs uh, were exchanged. Uh, one more. Uh, this is the sixth ERCP finding. After removal of a clogged stent, hemophilia started. Uh, the patient bleeding got worse and my mental went out. Uh, after inserting two guide wires as soon as possible, and then uh, two six minute fully covered metal stent were inserted side by side, uh, then bleeding stopped. Uh, a similar phenomenon was uh, happened in five cases during Jamsia chemotherapy in our hospital. Uh, this is one of the cases of hemophilia. Uh, you can see the active bleeding from the hepatic artery pseudoenzyme into the CBD. This is my suggestion. Uh, hemophilia uh, could be developed during Jamsia chemotherapy. Uh, in my opinion, I think the phenomenon may be caused by tumor rises uh, rather than plastic stent injury. Uh, if you have a similar experience, it would be interesting to collect all the cases. However, we have a dilemma in six millimeter size of the full cover of stent. Uh, although the stent patency is uh, maintained longer than that of a plastic stent, uh, I think it is shorter than the uh, conventional metal stent. Uh, uh, 60 days, 80 days, 60 days. However, uh, however uh, it has the advantage of being able to exchange without difficulty. Uh, second suggestion is uh, during chemotherapy, we experience the recurrent cholangitis more often. So we should recheck the stent patterns period. And also I wanna check together about the use place of uh, six millimeter size, the fully covered metal stent during Jamsia chemotherapy. Uh, rest the case is uh, about the triple eight millimeter size, the uncovered metal stent. 
you can see the diffuse infiltration of a high lacrimal carcinoma, also repeated trying uh, guide wire insertion into the right posterior duct. Uh, I could insert the guide wire. Uh, because of the short life expander I inserted a triple uncover metastent by side by side. Uh, next case is a 69 years old male with a bismuth type 4. Uh, he and his family wanted to keep inserting plastic stent. Uh, however, he suffered from frequent cholangitis. Uh, for seven months, I had to check, uh, exchange ERBD uh, 14 times. Uh, any size, any number, any type, uh, even six millimeter size, the fully covered metal stand. Uh, I decided to insert multiple uncovered metal stand. Uh, uh, the three uh, uncovered metal stand were inserted using side by side. Method. However, I was very worried about the uh, CBD injury uh, by uh, sent expansion. Uh, but uh, fortunately, he is well until now. This is the last topic. Uh, 73 years old female was diagnosed with the bismuth type 2 high lacrimal carcinoma and suffered from recurrent cholangitis uh, due to stent clogging. Uh, since the highlight area here is relatively wide, uh, I tried to pick test plastic stent. However, one was inadequately positioned. Uh, so after capturing uh, the distal part using alligator forceps and adjusting with a uh, two-amphora movement, I can restore the proximal shape. Uh, let me introduce my American boss, uh, Professor Rayman. Uh, recently, he uh, retired from Indiana University. He usually uh, inserted the post big tail plastic stent after modification uh, with a special dryer. Uh, this is an eyeglass modification system. Uh, do you know this three men? Uh, this, this is a three men. Uh, so I'm using a hair dryer to make uh, uh, this modification. You can see the modification uh, for speaker tape plastic stent. Uh, I envy your Japanese uh, uh, new plastic stent. Uh, this is my last slide. I introduce uh, another type of stent modification. If you artificially make one more flap on the straight type stent, uh, this type of migration can be easily prevented. Uh, thank you so much for your kind attention. I miss all of you. Thank you for a very nice presentation and uh, interesting informative lecture. Dr. Guan, I'd like to have a couple of, a couple of questions. In malignant high liability stricture patients who underwent chemotherapy after inserting a plastic stent, the patency of the plastic stent seems to be less than one month. Uh, which type and diameter of the stent do you use? Uh, I usually use uh, seven French uh, plastic stent, uh, more than uh, more than two cent, uh, two cent. So the distal part of uh, this uh, CBD was narrow, so very hard to uh, insert uh, multiple stent. So. I usually use a seven French plastic stand. So uh, the mechanism of clogging of the plastic stand is thought to be the formation of the uh, by sludge in the sustainable mat. What do you think is the mechanism of by sludge formation in the stand due to chemotherapy? Mm -hmm. uh, 
Thank you for your uh, important question. Uh, as you know, the most important factor affecting stent occlusion is the biofilm formation. So chemotherapy and uh, related uh, immunosuppression state uh, can induce the recurrent cholangitis and accelerate the biofilm formation. So maybe uh, I think the repeated chemotherapy and repeated cholangitis maybe uh, make more Sludge or debris. So uh, it is um, uh, our uh, homework. <laughs> uh, Dr. Katahama, please. Uh, yes, uh, thank you very much for your nice, uh, uh, very um, uh, nice talk. I have one question. You know, uh, resectability of uh, 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 carcinoma is, I think, not clearly defined, like a pancreatic uh, cancer. So my question is, uh, what is your definition of uh, uh, unresectable? Oh. I, I, th I, I think some, some surgeon, uh, you know, perform a very aggressive uh, resection. So what is your uh, definition of uh, unresectable? So uh, two points uh, may be important. Uh, so one is uh, uh, the type of uh, aggressive type of maybe is very important. And, and uh, one more is uh, the uh, hepatic vessel involvement. So, uh, as you know, the American uh, report uh, reported the the, uh, the liver transplantation in patient with uh, uh, hepatic artery invasion. So, but uh, after after aggressive RT, after aggressive RT, only a small percent of patient uh, uh, got a uh, operation. So, uh, I think new uh, triple regimen can can change the uh, resectability. Uh, so uh, as I showed uh, the previous uh, slide, uh, I think 10% uh, or 20% uh, can change the resectable. So uh, let's, uh, uh, let's uh, uh, wait the, uh, the more, uh, more prospective study. So we will, uh, we will, the, we will change the uh, resetability uh, in patients with the high lactulange question. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you again for a nice presentation and comments.